they've, they're inspiring for, for me. Um, you know, I found out about the event. Um, well, I actually met Laurie McMenemy last year and he was talking about it then. And then um, I haven't been able to get down to the actual uh, games. So to be able to come here and see everybody when they're finished and a bit more relaxed is actually even nicer. So a chance to, to speak to more people, really. Yeah, oh, I think... Uh, you know, every year it's it's an incredibly exciting time because this stage of the year everybody has hope and dreams, and that's part of what sports about. So uh, there's so many different uh, narratives around the around the season, and you know, with with all the different managers and clubs and new signings and transfer market. So it is a. Uh, uh, this moment where every club is, is looking forward to it, looking looking forward to the challenge, um, and the supporters will be the same. I, I think you can see what happened last year, and you add, uh, you know, the the amount of money that's been spent across the board into that. It's it's increasingly competitive, so um, everybody has to, to to keep looking to improve. Well, everybody will look at what happened to Leicester a couple of years ago and, and feel they have hope. So. Um, you know, we always focus on the top five or six clubs, but th there really is no way of knowing who might emerge as the season progresses. I don't think we could have expected as much success as we've had in terms of the tournaments that have been won. The, the, the number of them that might never happen again. You know, to to win so many, um, but we've wanted to be competitive in all those tournaments, get to semi-finals and finals on on a consistent basis, because that's a great experience for our young players. So. Um, for them to experience winning as well is, is an important part of their journey from an international perspective. Not, uh, no, I, I think what happens is we want competition coming through. You know, we want, uh, as I said, we want our young players to experience success. Um, that, that then, um, for our senior team, you know, it, 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 it inspires them. You know, I know we, we sat as a group and watched the Under-20 World Cup final, so... Um, it means that the, the whole pathway is joined up and it means that our senior players can can be inspired by the younger ones as well as the, the senior ones inspiring the younger ones as well. Brilliant at, at youth level, we've got guys that have won Champions League youth, we've got guys that have won now European Championships, World Cups, so uh, the next challenge for them is to get into their own first team and um, you know they that they have to keep being challenged and challenging themselves. They have to keep uh, looking to improve. Well, um, in the next two games, if, if we get six, six points from the next two games, we're in a great position. So um, we uh, we have two, you know, the t two key games in the group that remain. Uh, in terms of our nearest rivals are both at home and that's a, that's a huge advantage for us so we've got to make sure that we make that count. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's a huge privilege to do the job so, um, and part of the, you know, the biggest part of the job is to take a team to a major tournament so that's why we've got to get the next bit right, make sure that we uh, uh, first and foremost secure the qualification and then, uh, then we can get you know, more excited about what comes after that but uh, uh, you know, we can't take our focus off the, the, the next uh, camp in August and September. Well we need three more, three more wins to qualify and then we've, we can turn our mind to trying to have a go to win it. So. Yeah. Well, we've got we've got to improve because we've just played France and Spain and Germany and haven't beaten them. So we we know we've got a lot of improvement to do in. So. Well, I played with um, Beckham and uh, Rooney and Gerrard and Lampard and but probably the best player I played with was Gascoigne. So. Would I get rid of him? Why would we want to get rid of anybody? <laughs> No, he's one of our greatest ever players, huh? Ninety-six. Yeah. By the way, everyone, what did I say at the start? What did I say at the start? Don't ask about the penalty. Matthew dived straight in and said, "What about the penalty?" Well, I wasn't good enough, really. So that's, well, Matthew, uh, you've asked the question. Yeah, yeah it's all right. that's no problem. You're not the first person to ask no, me the question, right. so don't worry about Matthew, it. You're braver than the lot. Well done. <laughs> Daniel. Well, when I was a kid, don't tell anybody, but when I was a kid, I used to support Man United. Wow. <laughs> about that, you've just got a secret. Yeah. yeah. Hugh's just got an exclusive. <laughs> As, I'm, I'm going to share it now, Gareth. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Hugh's just got an, an exclusive. As a kid, Gareth was a Manchester United fan. Yeah. 
Amanda, are you going to present Match of Day? He's going match to of the day. Match of the day. <laughs> yeah. 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 If we don't get six points in the next two games, then maybe I might be doing that. <laughs> Do we think that Gareth should be on Match of the Day as well? Yeah. 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 Very good.